This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account has one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Come on, Cobra's a lot, get him, dude! 15 bill! You're the shittest hardcore Iron Man hunter I've ever seen in my life, bro. Oh my life. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for that. Surprisingly, I do almost have the requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. We only need a tale of two cats and 70 smithing, so let's complete this quest. A tale of two cats. And there we go. A tale of two cats has been completed. And we do get some experience here. Antique lamps. Straight to Herblor. It's been like two weeks since I last shaked the kingdom. Look at all the her. Why do I have so many logs? Look at the herbs! Beautiful! The last requirement for Dragon Slayer 70 smithing 67 smithing 68 smithing Another Hesporic kill Can we potentially get the bucket this time? No bucket uh, 69 fletching 70 fletching 69 smithing And here it is, the huge level coming in 70 smithing, we can now make addy bars, and we have all the requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. I kinda wanna slow complete this quest. I don't wanna do this in a full sitting, just slowly complete parts of it. Here comes the level 82 farming. We can now boost up to enter the high level part of the farming's guild. And we get an extra fruit tree patch right there. And Celestrus, but I don't think I have a seed for that. I wanted to do a quest and I chose a kingdom divided. Why are you here? I'm gonna make an assumption that that guy that found me is just a random. What the fuck? I swear it was not him. <laughs> it was not Pimpfag that found me over there. Okay, we got the Dark Essence blocks. Beautiful. Thank you. What are you doing there? Okay, pimp act. And there we go. A kingdom divided has been completed. XP lamp, herb lore, 10k. We now have 70 herb lore. Very nice. And we got a book of the dead. It is time for me to start my Zora grind on the hardcore Iron Man. What are you doing in my video? Get back to where you came from, please. Hey! What about my world? What's wrong with it? Are you from a Shylish game or something? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. Alright then, let's give it a try, audience. Yeah, tell them more about it. In Hero Wars, everyone can find a character to suit themselves. We have cyborgs, aliens, vampires, even furries won't be disappointed. I recently unlocked the character Thea, she has a solar sanctuary special attack that destroys all opponents. Link to the game is in the description down below. It's very easy to start playing, but assembling a perfect team of heroes is an art of itself. Hero Wars is a world of 6 unique modes, more than 300 Guild Wars servers, and 100 million players. You can play alone, or see who among you and your friends is the top dog. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, here is a question for you all. Where can you get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and 5 awesome heroes to start dominating in Hero Wars right now? The answer is in the link in the description down below. Play Hero Wars now. Do you remember this moment right here? The moment where I died on my original PvP hardcore Iron Man? Well, it's time to go back. I won't get the kill. I gotta go. Oh my god, I suck. Alright, they changed spellbook to agents. Don't ask me why. But I did it. I think it's easier. Wait, what's this? Dude, I I almost failed. What the fuck just happened? Oh no, I'm out. I'm out. Almost died again. Yeah. I'm not too good at Zulra, I must say. Okay, die you little snake. It's almost done. Yes, it's dead. We did it! Solar scales, dragon ball tips, snake skin. Like the worst drop you could get from Zolra. But you know what? One kill count. 
new personal best. We have almost gotten our revenge. This time around, we're gonna get ourselves a unique item. Thank you. Another kill, two kill counts. Zora teleport, yay! Manta ray, okay, manta rays, very nice. Battle staff, chaos runes. All right, time to make some more recoils, and uh, the best way to do so without changing spellbook is by making these. I waste one soft clay per per enchant sapphire tab, but that's fine. Who the hell is this? Medium iron. I knew you were doing Zora. He's an iron man. I mean, he's not gonna expect me to go back now, is he? No food left as well. Toadflax. Magic seed, yay! Eight kill count for nothing. And that is 75 strength. I had to come here and get myself some more GP for Zora because it's very expensive doing Zora with freezes. Kill count number 10. Rune arrows, flax, ew. I just discovered that I have the requirements necessary for the hard part of Corrin and Kebo's diary and if I complete this one, I get such a good reward. So we're gonna do this one. For this diary, we need to mine a Lovakite ore, we have to smelt an Addy bar, kill a zombie, and then we have to plant a Logavona seed at Tate Farm, then I have to return a stolen artifact, monster examine, a troll. And lastly, I have to kill a wyrm, and since it's my slave task, I might as well stay. Boom! We got ourselves a blessing and a lamp. The lamp straight to herb lore. Beautiful 15k experience. Then we got a Rathus blessing number 3 that teleports me straight to Mount Caro. Boom! Straight next to the Slayer Master, beautiful. And I want to unlock bigger and better for superior Slayer Monsters. Very good experience. And it's been unlocked. And one final thing which I have unlocked, which I don't really need now, but I will eventually need it. Ash Sanctifier. What this does is that it automatically buries demonic ashes. So that's like free prayer experience without having to pick it up. Wyrm Slayer task has been completed for 12 points. Ash Sanctifier, there it is. 71 Fletching, 72 Crafting, 66 Slayer. Ooh, a Rune Kite Shield. Task completed, 12 more points. And 82 with cutting while editing, 93 Thieving. All right, plenty of money in High Ox. And then we can go back to Zora. We got 1,200 blood runes. That's enough for a few Zora kills. The streamer Nish is currently looking for me on stream, so I'm gonna troll him and make him think that he had a chance to get me. So, um, oh, there's, oh, I wasn't ready. I was talking to Twitch, oh my god, I should've paid attention. I should've paid attention, that was the engineer right there, man. First kill back in a while. Zora teleport, very nice. It's more Zora teleports, thank you very much. Battle staffs, thank you. Zora teleports, nothing. Death runes. Seventh for cooking, nothing, nothing. More Zora teleports, 20 kill count, nothing. And we got a casket, give us god the eyed body, shaps, or boots. Ooh. No, I got baited. I got baited. I thought it was two god the eyed pieces. It's what's one, and it was the braces. The braces are totally useless. Hard casket, Sarah plate body. Oh, high up. I'm gonna high off that. I need plenty more pineapple pizzas for Zora, so I come to my kitchen in my POH and pick some flour. And look at that, 92 pineapple pizzas later. Just testing my luck with one barrel chest, just one. And we get nothing for nothing. And I decided to complete another slave task for 12 more points. Whoa! I was slow. I must have saw- Wait, he splashed! He even splashed with full ancestral arcane! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. The Scarab Slayer task has been completed. What? Why someone- What are you doing there? And that's another anchor task completed. Uh, chaos runes and new logs. Manta rays, EA. Time to do the best slayer task in the world. Steel dragons. I'm just kidding. But we have a chance of getting a visage. Oi! We actually got it. We got dragon plate skirt. I've been wanting to get a pair of tank legs forever. And since I didn't get one from Barrows, I figured I might get one from Steel Dragons. And Dragon Plate Skirt completed. Uh, task completed. 
I'm gonna start doing something for the people hunting me, which they might actually like. I'm gonna start running around in full tank gear with a very low magic defense bonus, so in case someone tell blocks me, there's a high chance it doesn't splash. But I will only do it whenever it makes sense, you know. If I'm gonna range a boss or something, I'm not gonna bring tank gear just to do it. So Pimpact Ralph who splashed on me with full ancestral is probably gonna be happy with this. Oh, hello. Twisted Med is here. So Raid 3 Thumbs of a Mascot is coming out in two days. I wanna play it on release on my main account, so I'm buying splash runes so I don't XP waste while doing Raid 3. Whoa! Man, he's still here. Oh my god. We got a blood shard. I can decide between getting myself a bond on the account or high off this for 120k. And I'm in desperate need for money right now, so we're gonna high alk the blood shard. Please chat, don't hate me. It's gone! This guy has been following me through every single world and he's super annoying. So I am going to DH bomb him. No! <laughs> he killed me! <laughs> 85 hit points, almost 95 combat as well. Raid 3 is today being released, so I'm gonna be splashing, and I'm probably gonna get 87 magic as well. Uh, I got heavily addicted to Raid 3, so now I actually reached 89 magic. I got 3 levels just by splashing. Jesus, I was addicted for like 10 days, just non-stop, 20 hours per day, Raid 3. Oh my god, I'm such a nerd. Managing miscellanea, collect resources. Plenty of herbs. I want to be able to kill vampires, so we're gonna unlock that. Who the hell is this? Does this guy have an AGS pick? Wait. That's so awkward. I had 13 more to kill. And that's gonna be the final elf archer. Killed. The more points, 160 tasks in a row completed. And there we go, another steel dragon task completed. We got a solid 70k. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot on this account. He followed me! No, but he actually- Oh my god, he's trolling. Alright, the factory shall begin. We are out of mitral bolts, so we need to start smithing again. And the grind is over. 4,500 mitral bolts. 1,000 bolts, 72 fletching. That's gonna be 76 strength, 95 combat. And we have plenty of cash now. Let's go back to Zolra. 25 kill count, 8 teleport. Dragon bones, okay. I'll take dragon bones. I'm getting so low on supplies. Calcut seeds, very nice. I'm gonna walk in. 1000 chaos runes, nothing. Another Hespora kill, do we get lucky here? Papaya tree seed, I'll take the papaya tree seed. 83 farming, beautiful. 35 kill count, Zolra teleports. So I made 500 emerald necklaces and I'm gonna sell it to the store and there's a guy here who potentially has an account for me. So here we go, we gotta make some money. Wait, he had an account and I don't have a teleport. All right, we made 455k. Uh, I have a gap, okay, nice, I have a gap. He had no chance of killing me. <laughs> he's got no run energy. Man, he's free to play PKers. What's going on? And that's our entire cash egg gone for 900 blood runes and 500 deference. This is not the efficient way to doing Zolra. Uh, kill count number 40. Big kill for battle staffs. Right, I'm slightly drunk. Uh, I shouldn't have done Zolra when I'm drunk. But we got some manta rays, so it was worth it. Alright, I'm going to bed. Okay, hear me out. I've done a lot of Zora now. I know I almost died when I tried the Ivan Staff at Zora. But we're gonna try it again, because I've gotten a lot better now. So, maybe I can save a lot of GP by just doing Ivan Splash now. Okay, I did it! With the Ivan Staff! Let's go! We got teleports! Nice! That's our first Dragon Halberd, and an Elite Clue Scroll to go with that. Thank you. Wow, someone was actually waiting there. I have officially surpassed 10,000 Zolder scales uh, in my bank. It's gonna be very nice when I get a blowpipe or the Serpentite helmet. 
just shut them all in. Oh my god, I almost got deboed. It was a debo spec into a dragon throwing axe. Max hit is 4848, also known as 96, and I have 85 HP, so. All right, fellas, this is gonna be the last kill, 50 kill count, and we are officially on the Zolra high score. We did not get lucky. We did not get lucky at Zolra, but we did get 50 kill count. And this is all the loot here. So if you all want to comment that I died to Zolra once again in the comments, feel free to do so. And you may be wondering how did it actually go with the Dragon Slayer 2? Did I complete it? Did I not? Well, you will have to wait and see in the next episode. See you guys in one week. Goodbye. And of course the bounty has increased with 50 mil plus 20 mil plus 25 mil plus 5 mil plus 15 mil plus 805 million. Putting the bounty at 15 billion 584 million. Hello! It's time for me to once again inject you guys with some Swedish culture. And today we got three ingredients. We got Swedish crackers, also known as crisp bread or knäckebröd in Swedish. We got boiled eggs. And of course the main ingredient for this dish, kalles caviar. Kalles caviar is basically made out of fish eggs from the fish cod, which you can fish uh, using a big fishing net with level 23 fishing on RuneScape. It's very simple to eat this. Put the knäckebröd on the plate, slice an egg on top of the knäckebröd, and then add the kalles caviar. And when you pour out the kalles caviar, make sure to pour it in the movement of a skiing slope. It is an unwritten rule here in Sweden, every time you eat kalles caviar. And this is the final result, look at that. It smells a lot like fish. And uh, let's do the taste test. Here we go. I'm actually gonna compare this to sushi. Uh, you know, the first time you eat sushi, you don't really like it that much, but you will gradually more and more enjoy sushi. So it's the same thing with Swedish caviar. You don't like it the first time, but after a few times, you're gonna love it. Du hade rätt, jag kommer nog slänga den. Du hade nog rätt, jag hade nog slängt det här om du inte var här. Ska du slänga? Jag vet inte.